What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Locked On Badgers, holiday edition, the Sway giveaway show, the place where I can say thank you to everybody's helped this show build. Um, let's just get into it. We got a bunch of stuff to give away today on Locked On Badgers. Let's go. I um, appreciate y'all so, so much. You are Locked On Badgers, your daily podcast on the Wisconsin Badgers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is going on, everybody? Uh, coming to you from Windy, Connecticut right now. Um, but I want to do a show to say thank you to everybody who's been listening to the show, who's everybody's been tuning in. We're going to bring Rajiv and Justin in. We have a trivia giveaway show. Um, really quick, I do want to say we were having windstorms out here, and we've already had power flicker, and hopefully we don't lose anything. Hopefully the power stays on. That's all I'll say. People in Connecticut are soft. We are soft, <laughs> we are Eastern, but we don't get cold like y'all do. Like I grew, listen, I grew up in Wisconsin, so yeah. I get it. But um, listen, I want to start here. So the show's grown a lot, and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has helped grow it, from the guests that come on to the people in the queue, to the people in the chat, to the people in the Discord. Uh, it means so so much to me, and it's incredible that it's grown the way it has, and it's really a reflection of everybody that's in the community that's helped build it. Um, the other thing I would want to say for people who don't know, because I don't really talk about myself too much on the show, the goal of the show was always to give people a platform to where fans can come on and there's no voice that's bigger than anyone else's. That's always been the primary goal of this. So I think we're, we're kind of getting there, and I, I really like where it's going. Um, you know, and Rajiv, Scott, Justin, and I want to extend that invite to anyone else. Like, if you want to come on the show and talk Badgers, like, that's what I wanted to do is create a platform for people where they can do it. And again, no voice is ever bigger than anyone else's. No opinion is ever bigger than anyone else's. Just Badger fans talking Badgers. And that's what it's all about. So um, with that, I'm going to kind of wrap that portion of it up with appreciate you all. Let's get into giving you guys some free stuff. All right. That's what this show is about. And it's a way to say um, thank you again. So really quickly, how we're going to do this. We all have trivia questions. Put the answer in the chat. We're not spelling English teachers, right? If I don't think any of the answers are Dario Guboale, but just throw your answer in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get as close as you can. Um, and with that, we got third. Oh, no. And that was the last one. And, right. and, there, and there was the windstorm. <laughs> well, to everyone out there, Ryan is having power problems, so this may be a bit of a problem. Yeah. Hopefully he's not down right now. <laughs> I mean, he probably is. I'm going to get a pen out so I can write down anyone who answers. Should no we uh, should we'll, we we'll should we get back. the first question going? Yeah. Why don't right. you? Uh... I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan said he lost power. Wow. Oh, no. That's hilarious. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay, guys. Well, you so... can see that lovely photo of him in the upper left corner. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just you, you can stare Frozen at Ryan. Ryan looks so excited time. for these questions. <laughs> All right, so we'll start here. Yeah, put the put the answer in the chat, um, and then we'll write your name down. Ryan, will, when Ryan gets back on, he'll explain all the the gifts. There's a lot of, a lot of cool yeah. stuff to give away, though, guys. So, okay, this is the uh, the first question. November thirteenth, nineteen ninety nine, is the day that shall live famously in Wisconsin football history. Um, Ron Dane, our famous Heisman Trophy winner broke the all-time NCAA rushing record on that day in a 41-3 drubbing against Iowa, which we all love. He broke the record in the second quarter. He needed 23 yards. How many yards did he gain on the record-breaking play? Let's see. How many yards did Ron Dane get on the record-breaking play when he needed 23? Iowa is not a number. <laughs> we have not we have 17 24 32 those are all incorrect oh boy no oh 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 oh, oh. do we have something yes we do jesse who, who is jesse i don't see it who got it tim olsen got it it looks like uh, are you sure go up the list everyone stop stop entering here real quick just all so right. we can grab that uh, oh yeah one. jake I see the first one. Oh, Jesse got it. Correct. Yeah. Oh my God. There's so many people. <laughs> Jesse was the first. The answer is 31. Yep. Ron Dane got 31 yards when he needed 23. Uh, so Jesse, we're going to write your name down and we will have you ready for one of the first. So what's going to happen, by the way, is that 
uh, Ryan has, I think, 11 or 12 gifts that are real. They're really cool. There's a lot of good stuff. So everyone's going to answer questions. The people who win are going to be be kind of randomized in his list of, of gifts. And then he'll connect with you guys to get your addresses. He's paying for shipping and handling. No one has to pay for anything. Uh, so it'll be a really cool, um, a cool thing. So Jesse, we've got your name down. Thank you for that. Good job. And Justin, you want to do the next one? Sure. <clears throat> what former Badger offensive lineman was drafted by the Detroit Lions in the first round? No answers yet. Everyone is thinking or trying to Google something. Let's try to think. No Googling, everybody. You got to think about it. <laughs> Aaron Gibson is correct. Aaron Gibson. John Estock. No, nope, I think. Got to look at it. The first one is Tyler. Oh my gosh. Kometz. They're they're all popping in at the same. They're time. popping so fast. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, actually, no. Wait. It was here. No. Gibson. Phil S. Phil S. Yeah. Phil, so Phil S. Phil S. S you first. are the winner. <laughs> Man, Thank God for look, computer technology and timing. Hey, Ryan. Oh my! Back. Look, the I'm back. The power went out. I'm back. Okay, yes, so let's like, let's yeah, let's catch you up, Ryan. We're done. So, <laughs> we're, so we got. So we'll give you the names later. But Jesse got the first one. He got Ron Dane 31 yards. Yep, and Phil and got then the second. Gib, Gibson was the second one. Phil S. So we've got two two done so far. Um, we explained that you were going to kind of randomize the gifts, um, and you can maybe talk about that a little bit, and then sh shoot away with your next question if you have yeah, power. Yeah, get, <laughs> get us rolling, kind of explain how things are going to be run, Ryan. Yeah. Okay, so really quick, who got the first one? I'm sorry. Jesse. Jesse got the Jesse. first one. Phil S. Jesse got the, got the first one. Phil S. got the second one. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of hard so because, like, all the all the comments, like, pop up at, at once. Yeah. So what, we kind of have to go back and, like, look at it. One. But, yeah. But okay. Yeah. All right, let's get to the next one. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's awesome that you guys kept it rolling. Um, again, we're randomizing get, gifts. If uh, We're trying to limit it to one per person. So if you already have a correct answer, just hold off a little bit. But if it gets to a point where nobody can get the answer after like 30 seconds or so, uh, feel free to jump in. All right, you guys ready for the next one? This Badger has the single season record for blocks. Wisconsin Badgers basketball record for single season blocks. Who is it? I think I might know. This guy said, I want Ryan's with Santa hat. I love that. I want Rajiv's sweater. There you go, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, you got it. <laughs> yep, for sure. And a, a pretty recent Badger as well. Not Butch, not Hap, not Reavers. Oh, then I don't know it. Actually, I think I do. I might know who it is if it's more recent. We've got a lot of answers in here. None of these are correct, Ryan? Nope. Wow. I don't think I know this because I thought it was one of these. Yeah, you might need to check that list scan on there, Ryan. They pop up really Is quickly. Ryan frozen again? Oh, gosh, he is, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> to everyone listening, this is great because Ryan you know, this, was... This, this freeze is even better. <laughs> Ryan was looking forward to this so much, and it's like, and this is hilarious. Oh if anyone gosh. were a taxidermist, this is how we would have Ryan set us. <laughs> Justin, Wisconsin. do you know the answer to this? Let's, I want. I don't want to say it because in case I... someone has it, we, we may have the answer already. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna I'm sure that. we probably do because, like, literally every center has been listed that's ever played for this team. <laughs> Wow. Okay. It is. Nate Reavers. And what is it? It is Nate Reavers. Yes. Well, actually, he said it wasn't Reavers and when he was even on. Did he so. say it? That's what it's listed as on, well, it's on <clears throat> Wikipedia, but. Oh, uh, the answer, yeah. according to Ryan, is Jared Bergeron. And someone that's who does, I thought someone, too, but it's listed yeah. on here for career blocks. I'm seeing him at 144. So I'm seeing Bergeron. The first person who said Bergeron was. My gosh, there's a lot of answers here. This is great. Thank you all for participating in this. Yes. I'm looking for the first person who said Bergeron. Sorry, Bergeren. this is not going as fluidly as. 
were Jake Busher said Bergeron, but I think some oh, Carson Matsky said Bergeron. Right, let's get I don't to the top of the names for the list here. I yeah, think we should throw else. a comment in there and have it try to reset it each time so we know anything after that that it's. I right. think so the that, first yeah, that was the first one here. One. Uh, it was the second one in, so it would be Carson. Yeah. So if that's the case, I'm basing it off of what I am seeing on on Wikipedia shows. Him at 184, Hap at 154, Kaminsky at 153, and Bergeron at or Bergeron at 144. Interesting. Well, all right. For but, whatever reason, I had Corey Koski in my mind. And so, apparently... so Carson Matsky was the winner of that, yes? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So I just got a message from Ryan. Um, he is very apologetic of what's happening. He actually wants to reschedule this show because Ryan does have all of our questions, by the way. We only have a couple, um, but <laughs> Ryan's got all Ryan's the Ryan's running the, the show here. So um, thank you all for getting on, though. And we I mean, I apologize for this. Obviously, we the, the weather that's hitting the nation is kind mm -hmm. of uh, struggling. I live out in Vegas, so I'm I, it's sunny and it's 60 degrees and it's wonderful here. But I know that it's cold. Oh, um, it was single season. Then, then okay, single season was Bergen, right? Uh, let me check that single season. Yeah, I had career either way, Carson. We will put your name. Anyone who's answered a question so far, you will get your gift. Um, if we we have we have nine or ten more questions, but we're not going to obviously hit those because Ryan's having issues. Uh, so look out for some details from Ryan. We will get this rescheduled. Sorry for oh. everyone's. we thank you all for coming on and and like Ryan had said earlier, you know this. This channel's grown a lot. Obviously, it was, it's a lot to do. It was Bergen. It was, was Bergen. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan's done a lot of the work to, to grow this, but thank you all, viewers and listeners. I mean, you guys are what make this show grow and go. Um, so that's um, that's great. If you're interested, Justin, why don't we kick around a little bit about uh, the new quarterback potentially coming um, yeah. tomorrow? Maybe mature. Tomorrow sounds like a lock. So there is your Christmas gift, everybody, an early Christmas gift. Uh, all the crystal balls are for him right now. All the future casts are for him right now to Wisconsin. A uh, big six foot five, 215 pound quarterback out of Texas. Um, he looks so much like the kid from Clemson. Uh, why is his name escaping me right now? Trevor uh, Lawrence. Trevor that Lawrence. Guy? Yes. Yeah. He looks, yeah. Trevor Lawrence yeah. looks same build, yeah. tall, lanky, big arm for the kid. Um, He's got some things that need to be cleaned up on his delivery. He, he tends to get out over his feet a little bit and throws a lot with his arm. And I think that that's something that they'll, they'll quickly work on with him, but he's a, he's a tough kid. He runs hard. Uh, he's not super shifty, but he's a guy who actually, he's, he's one of those long striders that once he gets moving, he just seems to, nobody seems to be tracking him down. Um, this is a big get. Like this is a kid that legitimately is a problem running around out there if, if what he is he's got good touch on his throws big big arm um, moves really well and is used to being in the run game at the high school level at a very high level high school football uh, area in texas so this is probably about as good as we've seen since you know legitimately as a kid out of the recruiting cycle since mertz and I think that he's he's been more tested because he's been playing at high level college or high level Texas football. Isn't it nice that we're all of a sudden talking about four star recruits all over the board now? I mean, literally, the soon oh, as yeah. as soon as Big Fit well, comes on, it's like we're just it's it's the game gets changed so quickly with a guy like this, and it's really it's really exciting to see it happen. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. The beauty of this is, is he's very early in the cycle. This is the type of get early on that allows you to start really pushing on on skill talent. And I think that that this is where Wisconsin needs to have the step up. I love our wide receiver room that we have right now, but I would love it more if we were starting to get some of these guys that are like, <laughs> what the heck is happening right now? Well, we I suddenly turn into the Blair Witch. I've got five percent of my battery on a mobile phone hotspot. Um, we we are we are we already told everyone we are going to be rescheduling the uh, the giveaway. We do have three winners so far that though we told those three they're going to get their prizes and we'll finish up whenever we can finish up. But <laughs> I am so sorry, y'all. Ryan, are I you am... safe? Do, do no, we need to call the authorities? Are I'm people not coming safe. For and you? I have two kids coming home who it's a dark house now. I got nothing. I just bought a generator oh, yesterday. I don't know how to use a generator yet. 
Ah, oh, doggone it. I, I am so sorry for everybody anything. who's listening and watching. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are going to reschedule this. Listen, I'll say this because I think the other the other weird thing is I think I have to be the one that ends the stream. Like, I don't think y'all can actually end this. We, we, we just keep That's, going. I don't we actually, I, I, was think, I was thinking about that and I was like, well, we're, we can talk Badgers all day, but well, someone, close it out, at some if, point he's going to I'm pretty it. sure if we close it out, it would close. I'm not yeah. sure what think, would happen with it. You just I think the stream keeps going. Over. <laughs> in um, perpetuity, four percent battery left, so we could talk for like thirty more seconds. That I do want to say one thing: the biggest part of this show really was about saying thank you to Justin, Rajiv, Scott, Mike, everybody else that tunes in. Y- y'all are awesome. It's why the show has grown so much. So, um, yeah, really do appreciate y'all. Is is the biggest part, and that's why I wanted to give you guys stuff and just. I wanted a meaningful way to say thank you and happy holidays, and y'all rock. Mm-hmm. Is, is basically the gist of it. So we do have the we do have three winners so far. Those three those three will get there um, to get to get okay. get, in the, get into the prize drawing because we have those three names. So we're, we don't we don't want to we don't want to rob those guys who got three answers right. So that's good. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, let's keep track of those. Um, I y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to end this broadcast just because I don't think either of you guys can do it, and I don't want a live stream just yeah. randomly recording for the yeah. rest of the day. Anyone totally that's on the Discord, Rajiv and I will try to jump up on there if you want to, Rajiv. Yeah, totally. We'll, we'll go into the voice chat on there. Uh, we'll see if we can get it working. Ryan and I had some issues with it yesterday, but yeah, we can dive on there and talk some more if you guys are up for it. Yeah. I put the Discord, by the way, I had someone ask me the other day, I put the Discord link in the chat. So if y'all want to join, it's 100% Badger content. Well, not 100% Badger content. It is <laughs> First good no content. B-ball game. It's not yeah, this comment from P is hilarious. First no b-ball game, now this. He's so right. He's so right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. Yeah, so uh, Preston, the the link to the Discord is at the top of this chat. And the great thing about the Discord is it's free. There will never be a paywall on Lockdown Badgers as long as I can help it. It's free. It's just great talk. There's no politics. There's no none of that stuff that doesn't happen there. We don't let that happen there. Um, But we also talk. There's movies thread, video games thread, sports cards thread. So it's just a good way for Badgers fans to continue building that community. Um, Mm -hmm. I can't believe that the power shut off. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous. On a, on, on a show that you were you've been looking forward to for weeks, by the way. <laughs> I know. I've been planning this show for for those of you for like a couple months. Oh yeah, months for, on, yeah. Getting this stuff. All right, y'all. Um, yeah. If we don't talk, like I don't plan on doing a show tomorrow or Christmas, barring um, a six foot five four star quarterback committing. So which we did that, talk about. <laughs> which which is seems to be a foregone conclusion at this point in time. So I probably so, will do a show about that, by the way. But aside from that, if I happy holidays to everybody. Um, stay safe. If you're in, if you're watching on the show right now, happy holidays. Wish you all the best. Thank you so so much. And uh, yeah, you guys got anything? Anything else no. you want to throw out there, quick? Mer- Merry Christmas to all the viewers and listeners and everyone. Thanks for making this so great. And Ryan, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for doing what you do for the show. Justin and Scott, we, it's been so good for for me just getting to know you guys and being a part of this. So thank you. Zach, keep an eye out for it. You'll get something, I'm sure. <laughs> Ryan and I have already been discussing it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Merry Christmas. Um, s- sorry about this, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely we'll reschedule the giveaway show. So that that'll definitely still happen for sure. All right, y'all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Uh, we'll talk later. Yep. <laughs>